writing, reading, typing, texting. Mm. Written language is just one of those things that's always been around. It's a natural way for you to use words. It's a given, but there's something you've forgotten. It's understandable, after all, it's been a very long time. A long time since no one on the planet knew how to write. Our story starts with a legend, the tale of Thoth and Thamus. <laughs> no, that's not a lisp you're hearing. Thoth and Thamus. Thoth and Thamus. After the Egyptian god Thoth invents writing, he runs to King Thamus to share this discovery. But to his chagrin, the king isn't impressed at all. Looking down his nose, he starts pontificating on the destructive power of this newfangled technology. Oh, clever Thoth. This invention will produce forgetfulness in the minds of learners with the neglect of their memory because their trust in writing comes from strange external marks and not their own internal recall. The drug you've discovered isn't a memory enhancer, but a mentioning enhancer, and you're offering students pretend wisdom, not truth. This sounds strange. It's easy for you and your world full of writing to dismiss Thamus, but hear him out. He brings you back to the early days of writing, when it was the hot new thing. And like many other inventions, not everyone was on board. Okay, so let's say, for the sake of argument, you don't want writing. What are the alternative technologies? You could bust out your abacuses. They'll help with counting and doing complex calculations. Maybe you prefer icons, ritualized images that help you relate to culturally significant figures, events, and attitudes. The Kipu is an amazing ink and information storage system using chords, colors, and knots. Oh, and don't overlook rote memorization. A basic option, sure, but it's really useful in preliterate societies where sentences can be memorized and recited by the thousands. Your brain is bigger than you think. Perhaps you prefer petroglyphs, rock carvings with major cultural ties that may refer to nearby places or animals. Ooh, watch out writing, we're getting uncomfortably close. All of these inventions helped humans keep track of their thoughts. So what makes writing different? What's Thamus afraid of? Let's talk some Ness. Embeddedness. These things are all embedded in minds, tasks, rituals, events, cultures. Rip them from those contexts and you rip out their expressive heart. Thoth's drug doesn't come with so many strings attached. It will de-embed you, letting you record any specific thought and letting future generations read it in any context. So human, was Thamus right? Is writing an unnatural intrusion? Or do you want to swallow Thoth's pill and see for yourself what we actually unleashed when we invented writing?